Tomorrow night, Suncor Refinery in Commerce City will be hosting the first of two public meetings on its upcoming air monitoring program. Comes as the refinery's permits are up for renewal, and the team there is certainly hoping to start rebuilding public trust. Now, just last month, an independent report identified gaps in the safety culture at the refinery, but said the refinery is designed to meet those environmental permits. Well, CBS 4's Connor McHugh has been reporting on Suncor's problems longer than a year. So, Connor, it sounds like residents will be asked to trust Suncor's handling of the new program. And Jim, some of the community members we spoke with today say they're willing to listen and learn more about this program, but right off the bat, they are skeptical based on their experiences living near this refinery. Some of them said they believe this could be a bit of damage control on the company's part, while others called it an important step moving forward. After years of exceedances in scares like this one from 2019, Suncor's Commerce City Refinery will soon listen to calls from the community. This summer, it will begin its own air monitoring program with third-party company Montrose. We want this information to be neutral, to be representative and be trusted. Suncor's Donald Austin says the results will be near real time, showing levels of various pollutants on an online dashboard and community input will help decide where the monitors go. We've decided on where to place five and we'd like the community's feedback on the other five. Steve Douglas lives in Commerce City and served on city council for eight years. He says he'll trust monitoring from the state and other community groups more. They're being pushed to step up to the plate, but it's it's late. It's too late. Rebecca Curry of nonprofit Earth Justice says that skepticism is earned. The trust between Suncor and neighboring communities is broken. She has questions about the program's scope and technology, but is encouraged. More monitoring is good monitoring, and I hope that Suncor is proceeding with this community monitoring program in good faith and that this will be a positive step. It's what we heard they'd like to know more about. So in responding to their requests, I'm hoping that will build a degree of trust. Austin says the goal is to launch this program this summer, though they are still deciding on exactly when that will be. If you want to join the first of those two meetings, it will be tomorrow night. We've posted information on how to attend that meeting online on our website under the links and info page. Live in Commerce City, Connor McHugh covering Colorado First.